All right, let me try and do this way faster in case I get interrupted again. So Sub-Zero defending against blind tech video. So we'll start with all the gaps. So one, two has a gap. Sorry, I messed it up. One, two. One, two, two. Two, one. Sorry. Two, one. There we go. Two, one, two. Back, three, four. Forward, one, two, three. And then... I think that's it. Um, I will mute my mic and just go through each string. So one, two, 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 one, two, back three, four, forward, one, two, three, in that order, so you can hear it better. Had a weird couple of resets just because of the spacing, but yeah. So as long if you hear those any of those strings or you think they're coming, you can armor out of all of them. And of course, depending on the cameo and your character team, you'll have full combos and make them regret even pressing buttons, right? Uh, so the next thing we'll cover is the punishable things just outright. So this is his back two overhead and his slide and his the specials in general. Like his main like punishable normal is back two, but we'll go we'll show that in the specials. We'll do in back two, and then we'll do slide. Then we'll do deadly vapors. Then ice ball. Like we'll just go in order. And I'll go through. So those were the overhead in the slide. Next we'll do daily vapors and ice ball. Apparently ice ball is hard to punish. I've never seen that, but whatever. So then next we'll do back forward to an ice clone. So the things I tried to demonstrate there was that back forward to when at done at jump distance is fully safe on block and ice clone is punishable on block unless he spends bar if he spends bar it's fully safe and you they get a combo for you trying to armor out so this adds a bit of a 50 50 on almost every single button um where he could do something like forward one two into ice clone and you know try and punish you for that it's a little tricky to do but I guess the spacing right um, but yeah you like sub-zero can now sort of 50 50 on block a little bit the next thing I'll show is Melina form for a chameleon so I'll just do every string and try and see what can be armored out of which I think none of them can be we'll see yeah forward one two into Melina ball rolls of true block string that's a mid mid overhead and or mid mid low so it's a straight 50 50 you can't you have to guess same with back three four Uh, Melina will break the armor. So that's that's always fun. Um, the the mind game is the fact that the overhead is 18 frames and the lows on these strings respectively start in like 16 or 18 or 20 frames, whatever it is. So you could theoretically fuzzy, you could theoretically fuzzy, but it the frames are too tight to risk consistently fuzzy anyway. So you, you're just better off guessing. And the, the the tricky part is with Melina specifically chameleon form um the size will get the airborne combos off the lows and the overhead will be a launcher on its own so it's a 50 50 and it's a combo either way for sub zero so fun um the next thing is jade um i think you can arm out of everything and my family's kind of loud we're doing like they're doing like games and stuff yeah so that's a that's a gap you can exploit right there so forward one two into jade glaive is not real back two into jade glaive let's see back two jade glaive is not real back three jade glaive not real. Stand one, Jake. One, glaive. Not real. Stand two, glaive. Not real. Two. Oops. Freaking spacing, man. Two, one, glaive. Not real. One, two, glaive. Not real. So yeah, so you can armor out of jade stuff um, on block very easily. Like this is not real at all. Um, you can poke it. You can armor. You can do a whole bunch of different options. So we'll do katana. I think katana is like fully safe, right? It's like a, a negative five, like mid or whatever, right? Let's see. And broke the armor. And what about forward one two into it? Broke the armor. This is absurd. I didn't know Camille was this ridiculous with Sub Zero. Holy crap! 
And broken armor. And uh, okay, so looks like you can. <laughs> okay, this is just ridiculous. This is ridiculous. There's no uh, unless it's just Sub Zero slide is that slow of a startup that they can. This is nuts. Um, yeah, so I'm learning stuff on the fly, so that's great. Um, sub Katana or Sub Chameleon is just stupid. <laughs> like you can just. Oh man, this is dumb. This is silly. Um, I guess your options are to try and poke out a jade, or armor out a jade. Just b guess right against Melina, sub right if you're playing if they have the sub uh, Melina cameo, chameleon, and then katana. I think this is a duckable high, right? Like I thought this was a high. So can I? Let's see. Let's just have him duck. No, it's mid. Oh, it's a mid at different distances. So up close, it's a mid. Yeah, so up close, it's a double hitting. That is ridiculous, honestly. But whatever, fine. Whatever. Just come in. Don't know why I don't play this cameo. This cameo is stupid. <laughs> Jesus. Um, anyway, yeah, so, that, so this is the main thing I'm trying to get across. Um, you can armor out of Jade and poke out of Jade stuff. Melina stuff, you kind of have to hold it. You can't really armor out. And Katana stuff, you can't really armor out either, so you got to hold it. But thankfully, again, Melina is fully punishable. Katana is hard to punish. Um, I think it's fully safe. Um, so yeah, so sub chameleon, kind of a little bit of a nasty team. The so the main thing that is a meta shifting. This is huge for sub zero players. Um, the slide now gets little combos. So if we go and set him to Melina. A little tricky there, but you get the point. So now, this is the main meta thing with Lissab, is if you have a cameo that can give him armored combo combos off the slide by itself, that is a nasty cameo for him because of the fact that slide will punish projectiles, slide goes under, a lot of moves, slide is just a screw neutral tool, gets you in. So now, like, cameos like Kalina, uh, Kalina, uh, Chameleon, J uh, Janet, Movado, Sonia, Scorpion, um, I know like, there's stuff in the background, but I can't help it. You know, Thanksgiving or Black Friday day, like, we're doing Thanksgiving today, except for yesterday, so, um, point is, the general idea is, you're gonna get mixed, and you gotta hold it and block it, honestly, like, I can't, I can't see a consistent way out of this, or, this, the size is gonna go with you, and you're gonna get blown up for doing anything in neutral, um, really, um, yeah, sub chameleon seems like a, still a bit of a nasty team, I personally put more stock, and I have more fun with, like, Movado, Janet, Sonia, anyone else but Chameleon, just because I don't like having to micromanage my timer in my head, it's fun, um, which is funny, because I like playing Ghostface, right, different, different things, um, the main thing you'll see with Sub and Sonia, let me swap to Sonia real quick, the main thing you'll see is people try to do back two into Sonya, which is fine, but that has a gap. Let's show it. So then we'll do forward one, two, three, which is a mid, mid, low with Sonya's overhead, so mid, mid, overhead. That has a gap. Forward one, two, three has a gap by itself, right? Then back through four. Or back through Sonya, that's gaps too. So with Sonya, that's a lot more fair. You can just armor out of all the crap, right? There's none of it's real. Um, what's more real is Sonya in neutral can help Sub get full combos off his slide with the energy ring, and it's still safe, so he can punish and do all this banana stuff, right? So Sonya Sub might have a lot, and I know there's other, there's like a lot more advanced like breakdowns and attack and stuff. But I think Sub Sonya is actually a really nasty pairing. Um, so this is the main thing I had to discuss. I wanted to show the gaps and the strings, uh, punchable specials. Um, your general idea of Sub is just block low and react to the overhead by himself. Um, don't be too aggressive against Sub because he's banking on you. He's banking on you over pressing and over committing, um, and like. Mess you know, floating around in neutral because the slide's gonna get you or the ice clone. Because ice clone is now a formidable tool in his arsenal where he can break armor with it, he can do um like unblockable throw combo setups like into Oki and like this man got pretty good now. 
Um, I don't know, he's, he's not top 10 by any means, but he's a lot stronger than he was before the match, right? Um, so basically, look out for cameos that will help him get armor, or just launchers off the slide in general. And then um, the cameos that can mix can kind of mix for real. Um, I thought it was fake. Oh, real quick, before I forget, let me uh, go back in here and put on Chameleon. Hold on. So here is the one thing that I want people to remember from this is this is fake, right? This is really, this is not real. So you'll see some sub players. Let's do, let's go put you on Katana. Katana, there we go. So you'll see sub players do this, right? Try and keep it safe. Try and keep slide safe with the, the fan lift, right? Which you can technically try and do, that's fine. But here's the tricky part, right? Here's the problem. Um, And you can even get combos off, that's pretty cool. That's actually a nice little interaction. Um, but here's the thing, if Sub does this on block, if he does the, the Katana crap on block, you can jump with him and punish him. It's a little tricky to do, but you can do it. So think like Ashura's down 4-3 if you if you have trouble with that. Um, so let me swap him to Chameleon as well, and I'll just demonstrate on block. So hopefully you guys got the general gist of it. Just treat it like Ashura is down 4-3 in hands and jump with him or them. Um, I think this applies to anyone who uses Katana uh, Chameleon form now um, with the, trying to jump out of stuff or keep yourself safe with the jump. So again, if you guys find this helpful in any way, let me know. Um, I know I'm trying to rush through it a little bit, trying to be through it a bit quickly. Um, I just received some feedback that it'd be more beneficial to actually cover the cameo-based stuff on block or you know defending against it specifically as opposed to just spend the whole video on a base character just because by now most people should know how to deal with the base character by themselves without using the cameo shenanigans behind it so if you guys let me know what you guys think of this breakdown um, i know it's again rushed and loud background noises but i can't help it i have family so